What's up, good people? And yes, of course, here we are back in Saboteur's Tomb Raider 1 Remake. We're going into the Colosseum. And not to put too fine a point on it. What a stupid monkey. There is a fuckload of enemies in this level. Holy shit, there's many. There's over a hundred enemies in this level. Six secrets, that's the first of them. The second secret is actually quite nearby, but I'm going to bypass that for the moment and come back to it right near the end because we need to come back to this area. So six secrets, a couple of non-secrets as well, like this one. Nice and reminiscent of that uh, shock and shell pickup from the original. So let's go up here. A couple of lions. And a couple of three bats. Cannot reach me from here, which is pretty sweet. So this is kind of like a legit Doom Raider level. Three bats, small med pack, come on. Because, you know, that's what made Doom so sweet, the original Doom. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here to activate some more goddamn bats. There we go. Is that, you know, there's, there's enemies everywhere. That's the point. That's what made the original Doom so sweet. An overpowered Doom Marine that can just deal with many, many, many enemies. Let's get the Magnums out for the next lion. Ah, shoot the bat for the Magnums. Fuck it. So yeah, definitely puts it. I mean, this this truly has been. Properly renowned for a lot of enemies, but really just steps it up a notch here. Just constant enemies. Especially bats. So that kind of throws the uh, proportions out. There's a small med pack well hidden here, so pretty much a, ow, a non-secret. We're going to go and claim a, another non-secret right away over here. A large med pack behind this pillar right there. See that? Don't forget that. Okay, let's get back to the actual progression in the level. Head on down here. Grab that. Head on almost to the side there so you don't bash your head there. There's just going to be bats everywhere, right? So stop mentioning the fact that there's bats everywhere. But I mean, I do definitely, definitely don't want to detract from the brilliant formula. Formula? What the fuck does that mean? The formula, I still didn't say that right, formula that this remake follows, that I mentioned straight away in the first level before even seeing the rest of the game. You know, the areas that are familiar that are the same, they just got the same features that remind you of the original. Areas that are totally different in some combination of the two. And a little bit of Tomb Raider Anniversary. You can't hit me, son. I know your AI too well. Okay. So, yeah, brilliant. And, uh... As someone who loves Doom, I got no problem with enemies everywhere, right? That's how Doom is. Okay, just getting these magnums out to deal with this as fast as possible. 
so yeah it's it's kind of a nice balance if you you know appreciate it where you can get away with using the pistols versus basically needing a stronger weapon you know and that's pretty sweet so here we are in the actual Colosseum. There's the Midas stand. Nice little addition. Here's Pierre. He's just gonna miss and miss and miss and miss and miss. And disappear behind the pillar. Let's go get these two gorillas over here. Yeah. So I've only been hit by a bat so far, but that's all right. Okay, so as expected, there's a bunch of enemies inside the main Colosseum. So let's get a few shots off on them. I mean, there were so many enemies that I figured... Look at that. Shoot the lion. There's so many enemies that I figured that they had possibly the same programming, uh, programming as the lost souls from Doom. Like, if there's too many of them, they may actually stop spawning. So I was like, let me, let me just make sure I kill at least some of them like that as we go. Otherwise, there could be too many of them. I don't think that's actually a problem. You could just leave them and leave them and leave them until they build up and that doesn't really work too well. Just take care of take care of them as you see them kind of deal. That should be enough. Shimmy. Look at that. Three dormant bats. Those are never triggered and they don't count as enemies. Some more gorillas over here. These are very weird in terms of the AI, these two. Not sure why. And they can walk there. You see that tiny gap? They can just run out there. It's très bizarre, is all I can say. Très bizarre. So, the cool thing about this level is that, uh, you know, it follows the, the formula of the Colosseum in terms of uh, going down and uh, accomplishing things in the area and then opening the main door getting a key and so on but a little bit more involved because of a new mechanic and we'll see that in a moment I won't actually quite give that away yet but we'll see that soon enough up here on this roof there's a shitload of bats as you may ex have expected just keep shooting when in doubt, just shoot wildly at whatever, and you probably hit something. Up here, that jump is fairly tricky. I pushed it to its absolute limit just now, which is pretty cool. Do a sweet little jump back here. And now, let's actually go and get one of the first key items. And by key items, I mean keys. But they're not keys. There are two keys, but yeah, just just shut up for a moment. Okay, wait. There's no bats right here. That that's uh, that's in a hot fucking second. There'll be some more bats. Here we go. Just two. Amazingly enough, there's only two there. So what's your what's your head here? I think jumping from the middle here and then turning in that's perfect yeah and again watch your head on this there's a it's tree it's nice it's like these these little things that make the jumps a little bit of a challenge you know okay here we go we jump over this and before we desperately go to that balcony there's a secret here some magnum clips So that's one out of three secrets in this area. Okay, so we're coming up on the special item right here. There it is. A cog. 
the fuck's a cog doing here in the Colosseum? Okay, I have a yeah, shock and chills. So, yeah, there is a cog machine like there is in uh, the Lost Valley, which is pretty sweet. It's a, a nice twist. And this, uh, you know, this level, I, I don't know, I really like it. Even with the obscene amount of enemies, it's just really hit that formula so nicely. So over here is the next secret. Just enjoy the music for a moment. Still a couple of animals down there. So weird to refer to animals as enemies, but I guess they are. Even in Doom, you know, we refer to the uh, <laughs> the enemies as monsters. And I love, the, I actually really, there's bats here, obviously. I really like the word monster because it's such a relative term. And that was nicely explained in uh, the Jurassic World where Dr. Wu said, um, Monster is a relative term. There's an absolute fuckload of bats in here. To a, to a canary, a cat is a monster. And that's brilliant. Because it's true. And in Doom, they're called monsters, but they technically aren't monsters. Because, especially in Doom, where you... I, I don't know, I don't... I, if you want to say they're from hell or they're from some crazy place, I don't know. But those entities, when they're in hell, they're obviously not monsters. They're normal things. Demons are perfectly normal entities in hell. They're only monsters on earth. So they're not technically monsters you get what I'm saying so these are just animals in their world not, I'm gonna just seriously stop talking now so I wanted to stay on this higher level to get these two gorillas these fucking monsters but uh, so I've got two of the cogs right but now I need some more items. I need keys. You can't get me, fool. I know your AI too well. Okay, so I need keys. And there's two keys down here. So again, most of the time I can just use the pistols, you know. It's just to be... to conserve the good ammo. Oh, hello. Again, you can't get me. Even if you sneak up on me, you can't hit me. It's just that simple. I know exactly what you're going to do at all times. Uh, what was I saying? Ow. So, getting the keys. Okay, see. Here I can still use the pistols. Because they come out of their little hole fairly slowly. Okay, activate the gorilla. Let's just assume there's an enemy every... Every single inch of this map, there's an enemy, okay? So, in line with the original, we got this little speed run you've got to do here. Get the lever. Get the lever. Stand on the pressure plate to open the gate. Go into the next room. Land better this time. There we go. Into the final room. And get the key. Okay, so now I'm going to use the magnums just because these lines piss me off quite a lot. But 
I don't get locked out. Oh, I just got locked out. What a dumb idiot. You still can't hit me, Lion. There's no, th there's nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing you can do. So, sadly, let's do all of that again. Wait, I got the key, but I didn't get the shotgun shells. That's the problem. And the music starts again. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, now I'm done. Ow. Let's get out of here. So we need the second key, which we'll get in a hot fucking second. It's just across the way here. Ah, still absolutely adore this level. It's just got a brilliant formula. Don't know how someone can design a level this nicely. You can't hit me. Oh, there you did, you did. Well done. You sort of did that one sort of jumping attack, which doesn't happen often. Whatever. That's carelessness right there. When you're like, Ooh, look at me. Ooh. Ooh, look. Look how I can avoid all damage. Ooh. No. What do you expect to happen? Anyway, I do have a pretty good idea of how the AI works, but uh, if you be a complete dickhead, oops, things are going to go wrong. So yeah, just move this box onto the tile underneath, you know, that, it's kind of obvious. Should we use a shotgun on the lion just for a change? I don't really like using it on the lion because it takes two shots. You still can't get me, you dumbass. So here's the second key. Ooh, now I actually want to use the shotgun because I... What I like with the alligators, or the, the crocodiles, is you can... Never mind. I was going to say, like, with the monkeys, the gorillas to be more precise, uh, they, they require a perfect shotgun shot, right? And the lions definitely require at least two shots. And that's why I don't really like using the shotgun on the gorillas, because it's kind of annoying. If you don't get a perfect shot, it doesn't work. But the crocodiles, you can have a roughly shitty shot. But I had such a shit shot just just now that it didn't even work. So we go to the flow machine area with the flow machine keys. And that's what was an awesome sort of like mind fuck, right? You're like, oh look, there's a lever. Remember from the last valley? Three cogs. Put the cogs in, pull the lever. Where the fuck is the last cog? No. Pull the lever to open the gate. Brilliantly sneaky. I love that. And you have to go all the way back to the beginning. So, very, very cool. But potentially very annoying. Kind of level design. But I love it. That, that, that's brilliant. Throw, throw you off, keep you, keep you guessing, kind of deal, you know. Okay, so here we are back in this area. Got a lot of crocodiles to take care of. One, two. I killed the first one. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is bait what should be the fourth one and spawn. The fifth one by getting the secret.
There we go. Double pickup bag of clips and small net pack. Crocodile's right on my uh, tail. Okay. Yep, yep. Two of them. There we go. Take these down. Take them out. Murder their asses. Whatever. Oh, where's the, uh, there's the last one. Oh, there you are. Okay, so the lever in the flow machine room opened this gate. So now just to uh, recap or update, we have we have collected those three secrets in that upper area of the actual Colosseum. That one I just got now and that very first one with the go left here with the large med pack. So that leaves that's five out of six secrets, which is brilliant. But there's one left. Oh, not that way. You see, this isn't really maze, mazy necessarily, but there's the odd misdirection where you can go the other direction, which will slow you down just enough. And it's actually quite a lot of work to make a swim, a long underwater swim for a Tomb Raider 1 tearily because she has such a long breath damn and even when you run out of breath there's like another i don't know 10 seconds of her health that drains really slowly in comparison to to rated well three especially i think four actually i think it they kind of limited it as you go like with health and breath you know, in uh, obviously Tomb Raider 1 doesn't have any flares, but Tomb Raider 2 had 45 second flares, and the, the really the best flares of, of all, the actual ones that go, that kind of sound, and then Tomb Raider 3 also had that, but they limited it to 30 seconds. Okay, I did get the small med pack and the large med pack. I kind of zoned out there. And then, yeah, Tomb Raider 4 with the glow sticks, there was also 30 seconds. So Tomb Raider 2 was definitely the coolest in terms of the flare mechanics and all that. So there we go. We got the three cogs now. One secret left. Oh, yeah, yeah, can't just walk up there. That's my bad. Another couple of lions. There's 100 and over a hundred fucking enemies here. There we go. But somehow they really fairly nicely spread out, you know. That's a that's a real sh shitload of enemies, you know. But somehow they're not quite idiotically overwhelming. They 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 still kind of spread out fairly well in the level. Okay, there's two more gorillas here. It's kind of the most likely to get you as you come out the door, but I mean, you can't hit me, so. Right, so now we've gone all the way back to the beginning to get the third and final cog. Let's put into the flow machine. So just like the last valley, the uh, machine activates on its own. You don't have to worry about that. that. That's actually quite a cool thing. I really like that. And the funny thing is, all that does is open this fucking trap door. But anyway, the thing is, you should have learned from the lost valley that you don't need a lever. Yeah, I'm going to use the magnums for this. It's kind of close quarters. Headshot. Okay. Sweet. So that's done. And uh, a couple more bats, obviously. Gotcha. Pressure plate to open this. So this has filled the whole Coliseum with water, which is a cool idea. I like that. You know? 
I could have got these later, but let's get them now. They're right here. Unless they swim away. Oh, I've got you. Should be a third one, but let's not bank on that. Let's go here. What I was going to say, I hate it how often I start saying a sentence, get distracted, and then never come back to it. But this is a tier 3 secret. No doubt. Because you have to fill the water and then come here. You, you cannot just come and claim the secret at any time. So that's one of very few tier 3 secrets. If not the first one so far. There is supposed to be a third crocodile. I'm not going to lie to you. There it is. So that is the end game. And that's that's also like just it's just a fantastic uh, design aspect to take it to to just give it your own feel, you know. This kind of reminds me of the lost ship, to be honest. The Terra Lee by Feeder. Anyway, so that floats up when this fills with water, and then you have access to that low level rather than the high level. And uh, let's go there, but because there's so many enemies and so many possibilities oh, don't step back okay so this this floating wooden platform gives you access to jump out here and yeah here we go the entrance into palace minus there's 250,000 bats in here and then that's the exit but I do want to just check yeah I got everything and it was under half an hour. That was a brilliant, a brilliant run, to be honest. It was comfortably. If I didn't stop, I would have been under 27 minutes. So 111 fucking enemies. But a brilliant level. If you like Doom, you'll like this. You just don't stop shooting. And it, it gives you that, that uh, nice feel. To, you, you have to exactly like Doom. You're like, do I use the shotgun? Do I use the minigun? Do I use uh, the rocket launcher? Obviously, you don't get that in this. Uh, but you know what I mean? It, it just adds that element of uh, enemies. Like, it's like a first-person fucking shooter, like over the top, except it's third person. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to head into, as you may imagine, Palace Midas. But don't... Die, Lara. Sorry, that's not cool. It, there's the hand of Midas. Brilliant. I'm going to leave now.